<coughs> Hi, this is Dakit Douglas, aka The Unhero, and I'm just going to get straight into it. This is a video response to Evidence versus Onision, so let's get started. I saw the video, and quite frankly, I'm very disappointed with Onision, because he didn't do a very good job at defending himself, but it's Onision, so you get what you get with him. Simply put, he had no evidence in which to back up your claim, and back up his claims. Kitties, if you're going to accuse someone of something, make sure you absolutely, absolutely have evidence to back up what you are saying. Because if you don't, it's just a wild accusations and wild speculation. It just weakens your argument and makes people take it less seriously. It does. And that's what Onision did. You know, if this went to court on the rare, rare circumstance it did, it'd be an open and shut case. Why? Because Onision has no evidence into, in which to back up what he is saying. But Daniel, Mr. Repsion on the other hand, actually showed evidence to back up his claims. He proved Onision to be a liar. He proved his innocence. Simply put, he made Onision look stupid. You want to know the person who wrote the hand in the letter? It was Dot San so close to me. Which makes perfect sense when you consider that he's been a user who's been really active the last couple of years try for trying to expose Greg for his BS. So it just makes perfect sense he would write it. And there's a couple of things I want to address directly to Greg. Why must you take the internet so seriously? It's not even that serious. It's freaking YouTube. It's YouTube. You even said people were pathetic for feeding off of this drama. You said this is not for entertainment. This is not a reality show. Blah, blah, blah. This is YouTube. Why don't you practice what you preach? You, you feed off this drama. You feed off of it because without it, you'd be completely irrelevant and people wouldn't care about you. So don't lie to us saying that you feed off of this, the, the, the drama's pathetic and that, you know, people are pathetic for feeding off of it because you do yourself. And furthermore, Dan, he, Dan, he called Daniel a stalker creep. I'm going to get to that in just a second. But one of the things that bugs me about Onision is that he's a complete narcissist. He will go around blaming everybody else for his failures instead of being a man and taking responsibility for himself. He is not a man, he is a man-child. You know? Because he simply refuses to take responsibility for himself. It's everybody else's fault but his own. It is. That's the mentality. He thinks the world revolves around him. He does. And another thing that bugs me is that well, he's like, he has this refusal to grow up. He hasn't grown up. He's almost 30. Almost 30. And yet he's still making videos, resorting to this bullshit high school like drama, and whining about his personal life. If you don't want people talking about your personal life or messing with you or trying to ruin your happiness, then don't. Share your personal life on the internet. Don't. Because that is the kind of risk you... That's the kind of risk that happens when you share your personal life on the internet. People are going to criticize it. Simple as that, you know? And furthermore, you call Daniel a stalker creep? Look at you, buddy. You harassed your ass while Sky with a bunch of harassing phone calls. And I will leave a link to that video in the description because unlike Onision, I actually have evidence to back up what I am saying. And furthermore, he's made four videos about Daniel when Daniel only did one video to prove Onision was alive. So who's the stalker creep now? Because it's most certainly you. If anyone's a stalker creep, it's you, dude. It's you. And you know, what, not, and what really really bugs me about Onision is the very fact that he makes these videos solely for the drama and attention and solely to make money. He is a man of hypocrisy and many lies. He may say to you, it's wrong to hate or it's pathetic to feed off of drama, when really he does a lot of this stuff to himself and his fans are all saying, oh, you guys shouldn't take on it, you guys have no life, Really, are you that stupid? He does this to himself. I mean, look at look at him in the videos that he does. He does this to himself. 
he claims that he doesn't care what the haters and trolls think, then what is he going, what is he going to do? Makes videos calling out haters and trolls. And he says it's wrong to hate, but yet it's perfectly okay for him to sick his own fan base on anybody, anybody that hates on him, and say these vile, disgusting, awful things about them. That's the one thing I've learned about Mason. He is a hypocrite. It's, it's only bad when someone else does it to him, but it's perfectly okay to do the exact same thing to others. It's astounding. It really is. And he does it for the drama, the, the attention, because he's getting attention off of it, because he loves it. He loves the attention. He feeds off of it. He's got to be one of the biggest attention hordes I've ever seen on the internet, along the ranks of Chris Chan and Life in a Ten. That's how bad he is. And not to mention, he's a butthurt, he's a butthurt crybaby who will instantly balk you when you even have the slightest bit of criticism to direct, to direct towards him. And the very fact that he simply makes these videos solely to make money is quite honestly sickening. Stop it, Greg. Just, just stop it. Because you know what? There are people on YouTube that actually make videos because they enjoy it, because they are passionate about it, not for some stupid monetary gain. Not so they can make that moolah, that bread, that cheese, that lettuce, that guap, whatever terminology you want to use. But you make these videos solely put so you can get rich off of them, not because you care about them. Jesus Christ. It feels so good to rant about this guy. It, it really really does. And another thing, another thing that I want to trust is a dumbass fan tolerance. What? Get off the guy's nuts. Seriously. Why are you so quick to defend this guy who has never done you any favors that you'll never meet in real life, who doesn't care about you, who makes these videos to make money, but you will defend him to the death. Even when he is clearly lying, when he is clearly wrong, you will defend him because you are stupid and because you are obsessed with him. You say we're obsessed with Anisio and we need lives. Look at yourselves. If anyone needs a life, it's you people. You, you stupid ass fantards. You know? You will defend this guy and you will do vile, awful things and hate on other people that hate on Anisio simply because. He told you to, and you'll believe anything this guy says, because you are obsessed with him. My God. And he says that Daniel's trying to ruin his happiness, ruin his marriage. If you look at his current marriages and his previous relationship, he does a good enough job of that on his own. Simply put, the way that he treats women is absolutely disgusting and deplorable. And it's been stated that Taylor's not happy in the marriage, that she's becoming anorexic, that Greg is forcing her to, to be thin and to be a certain way, otherwise he won't love her. I think that's disgusting. Because you know what? In marriage, you're supposed to love someone for who they freaking are. Not because, oh, you have to be a certain way, you have to be a certain way, or I won't love you. Screw that. Screw it. Just You love someone for who they are, not how much they weigh. But Greg likes his woman thin. He likes them thin. And he will manipulate and twist the story around to make everyone else seem like the bad guy. To make himself look like the victim when he is not and he damn well knows that he isn't. You know what, Greg? This is what I have to say to you. You try to file a privacy complaint and get my video taken down. I don't care if you don't have fan tarts come to hate on this video because I have a point to make and I'm going to make it regardless of whether you like it or not and you, and, and you get mad because someone filed a privacy complaint against you well boo hoo I have no sympathy for you you deserve it for this dumb shit you're doing and furthermore you filed privacy complaints against other people in the past so don't come with this BS saying that privacy complaints are wrong. It's only wrong when someone else do, does it to you, you hypocrite. Jesus Christ, man. Honestly. Honestly. Just filled with hypocrisy and lies. 
to really end this video, honestly though, and the, the funniest thing about this is that Onision has cut off all communications. You cannot get in contact with him. Um, and you know why he's done it? He's done it because he's backed him into the wall. Because he's been clearly, his points were completely destroyed by Dan. Who made him look like a, made him look stupid. He made him look like an absolute liar. And he is a liar and a manipulator. But he got off all communication and is blocked. And is, you know, because he's a butthurt oversensitive baby. That's what he is. That is what he is. So to end this video, this is a quote from Modern War Negro's video, Your Attitude Determines Your Latitude. Greg, you better listen and you better listen good. The time you spend blaming others for your failures is time you could spend improving yourself. You make videos that some pe that people enjoy, a lot of people enjoy, even though I think they suck and are really devoid of any entertainment value. Just go back to making videos to please your fan tarts because I, I'm sick of this drama and I'm sick of you who bullying others and hating on us because that's what you are an internet bully you're not a victim you, you I don't feel sorry for you I have no sympathy for you you are a hypocrite a liar a narcissist a woman abuser and just a straight up tool and a douchebag that is what you are Greg that is really what you are and I have no problem saying that. Absolutely no problems. Because that is how I truly feel about you, you know? Because you have some semblance of talent, but you're wasting it with this dumb shit you're doing. You are. So, to end this video, I want to say shout out to Daniel. You proved your innocence. You actually showed evidence in which to back up your claims. And you just made Onision look stupid, so thank you for that. I make Oni I'm making Onision squirm like a little worm. And it's it's been amazing to see your channel grow so so substantially since from when I subscribed to you till now. So thank you for that. Oh, and to Onision, this is what I think about you. This is what I have to say to you. And to your dumbass fan torts. That's all I gotta say. This is Dakin Douglas, aka the Unhero, signing out. Deuces.